Morning everybody, this is your favorite MS4 coordinator, Rick Brown. And remember, only you folks can help us keep our stormwater clean. Um, we have a little thing set up here. Basically, today's message is going to be about what is a watershed? What is a watershed? Well, a watershed is a group of land or a size of land mass, a certain area. And it's when rainwater falls, it's going to run off from high elevations to low. Where is the water shedding? Where is the water running off of? And that is a watershed. The size of a watershed, by the way, is sized by different scales. One is based on geography, and that geography is specific to a certain area where the water is going to be running off. Watersheds can be small. It, small, in, in my terminology, could be a, a county, a small lake. Kind of watersheds can also be large. Some watersheds, uh, not here in LaPorte County, but as some watersheds can be thousands of square miles. They may contain rivers, lakes, underground water. Just They can be very large in some areas. The largest watershed in the United States is the Mississippi River watershed, which drains 1.15 million square miles. That's 31 states and two provinces. And from Canada, and that actually stretches from the Rockies to the Appalachians. Pretty big watershed, huh? Water from hundreds and often thousands of the creeks and the streams that are flowing from high ground toward lower ground they eventually wind up the lower elevations and larger water bodies. And as the water flows, it often picks up pollutants, which may have uh, negative effects on the watershed and ecology. Ultimately, the bay, the ocean, wherever it's winding up. And so that's why we have this. And this is our watershed. It's not thousands of square miles, but it works the same way. This is just a display. Now, what is this display of? Let me tip it up here a little bit. This display is our high elevations, the water, the lake, the stream down here, and you're going to see all these little things that look kind of ugly. That's because they're clay, and we put animals in them, and we put trees in them, and we put a lot of stuff in them. Oh, by the way, we have a road coming through here, a bridge. And what we do is we set this up, and, and it really works cool. And, and we've done it for fourth and fifth graders. I really like doing it with the younger folks. And I usually give them spray bottles so they can spray the rain. But we use instant chocolate. You can use salt, you, you can use the little animals and the horses, but we, we shake all that stuff on here, and then I say go, and I have the kids spray, and this is set up automatically, so what's gonna happen is when they spray this, I don't wanna do it in my office here, because you can see there's holes in this thing, it's because the water drains out, but it actually, it works very, very well, because when they spray, they're having fun spraying, and I take turns with certain groups of boys and girls, I, I love doing this. And it's already manicured in a way that the water is going to run. And when the water runs, even if we use a, you know, an instant chocolate mix, all those little brown things, we shake it on here and stuff, and it, it runs and it moves it, just like in real life. And actually, I'm not so sure some adults shouldn't see this. It's a very good visual because they have fun. They have fun spraying that stuff on there, and they learn. They don't even know they're learning, kind of, but they learn about, oh, they see how it works. It works very, very well. It's an immediate education. Everybody has fun. Nobody's got to get browbeat and any of that kind of thing, and I really enjoy doing it with the younger boys and girls. Yeah, and in our Kankakee River days uh, out there, uh, Ariana had filmed it, and so if you want to check the box below, she will be able to send that link to you so you could actually see it in action. And then you all understand what I'm talking about with the little boys and the little girls and them learning and having fun. And it really describes what a watershed is. Thank you very much.